Hey everyone, thanks for purchasing the nets. Here's how you install them. You'll notice that we've given you an extra mesh and goal post. We suggest you do a dry fit, get comfortable with the pieces before you use the crazy glue. But if there's an issue, you'll have a second shot. First, put on your safety gloves. Safety first. Then remove the cap to your crazy glue and keep it close by. Next, you're gonna bring in your nets. Make sure you remove the old goal sticker from your net. You'll notice on your mesh, there are two slits in the back of the mesh. That goes towards the back of the goal. Use the straight edge of the mesh to line up to the straight edge of the top crossbar. Use your two fingers to pinch the net to the goal over the back and align the edges on the side to the edges of the net. There shouldn't be very much overlap as the mesh was trimmed before shipping. Apply a little bit of the crazy glue. It's best to apply a small drop and then use the nozzle to push that drop up the edge of the plastic. A little goes a long way. Slide the mesh in place and use your thumb to apply pressure. You don't need to hold for very long, two to three seconds. Then peel your thumb back to remove your thumb from the glue rather than pulling it straight up so you don't rip your glove. You'll see the mesh stick to the net. Continue that on the crossbar, little drop, using the nozzle to move that drop over the plastic, and then using your finger, applying light pressure for one to two seconds each time while peeling your thumb back off of the mesh so it doesn't pull it from the plastic. Once you're done, let that dry. Feel free to use scissors to trim back any excess of mesh over top of the edge. Next, grab your rubber goal posts. There are two sides to the rubber goal post, a rounded edge and a flat edge. The flat edge goes to the outside. Separate the two sides with your fingers and slip over the mesh and plastic, working into the corners. If the rubber gold post binds in the corners, use your finger and thumb to massage it into the corner. You can also use a hair dryer to heat the rubber to help it mold. Align the gold post so you're happy. Apply a small amount of crazy glue to the bottom of the goal post. Apply pressure for one second on the corners. Do not have constant pressure, otherwise you will have a squeezed look when the goal posts dry. Apply glue to the top corner as well. Very little glue is needed. This is just so the goal posts do not fall off during gameplay. Adjust the post to its desired look and let dry. Time to play hockey.